Hey everybody, I am Kimbo. I blog at a gun.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the print and cut feature on the silhouette. I cut with a silhouette cameo 3, but this should work for Curio's portraits and the cameo 1, 2, and 3. I also am just doing it on a silhouette studio designer edition. I'm not quite sure if it makes a difference layout wise of the program, but that's what I'm using right now. So the print and cut means, so these are going to be chick eggs. And instead of taking my scissors and having to cut around each single one of these, the print and cut is going to, you're going to print it out and then load it in your silhouette and it's going to read where it goes. And it's going to cut right around these. So this is the tops of my carrots. This is the one that I did a blog post about. If you want to see more pictures. This is the one we're going to be working on today. So first off, I'm going to go over here to the right, up at the top. It's my page setup. And since my printer, it says current printer, my it's just a normal printer paper size. So it's going to size it up. And since I'm cutting it on paper, I'm going to need my mat. I was also going to tell you Expressions Vinyl has printable, printable vinyl, which is really fun. So if you want these to stick, you can get that. And it's actually really affordable. So I've got it sized right there. Now, when you are buying something from the Silhouette store for that print and cut, it comes automatically with the cut around it. So if you look, this is a print and cut, and it tells you in the store. It has a little P in there. This one has a little red outline, and that is where it's going to cut around. But since I created this, oh, that's a printable. Since I created this by myself, it doesn't come with that. So I'm going to have to trace. I'm going to go over here and click. I think it looks like a butterfly. Someone called it a piece of toast. And I'm going to trace my design. And since we're only cutting out around, I'm just going to trace the outer edge. Now, as you can see, we've got the wings, we've got the beak, we've got the eyes back so it lines up perfectly. Okay, so we're going to go back over to our page setup. And we're going to click this one right here. This is our print and cut. We're going to do type one. That's for our cameo, portrait, and curio. And this is the more the magic happens. This silhouette is going to read these lines or registration marks so that it knows where to cut. And if you can see this gray shaded area, that will not, so these will not cut. This is my only complaint with the print and cut is that I feel like it takes a lot of workable space. So I'm actually just going to highlight this and move them down. So you don't want any part of your design in this gray area. And then once you've got it all ready to go, you're going to go over here and you're just going to click print. And this is just going to print out just like that. And it's going to have these lines. You won't see the gray shaded area, but you'll have to see these black lines. And then when you load it into your silhouette, you're going to send it. And this is where I just double check to make sure that my cut settings are correct. We're gonna go over here, we'll pick paper, we'll do cardstock plain, that's what I cut these on. And you're gonna see these red lines. This is where it's gonna cut, so it's not gonna go in here. Cause if it's got a design in here, you don't want it to cut in there. And then you're just going to, I always test cut, but you'll send it and then the magic, I don't know how it happens, it's technology, but the silhouette's going to read this and read this and read this and know exactly where to cut around. And then you can just peel them off and apply it. It's so much easier than taking scissors and it looks so much nicer. I was going to show you that you can use printables. If you didn't want to cut out the printable or if you wanted to make it out of printable vinyl, you can also use that, this print and cut as an option as well. So it's a really cool feature that it looks intimidating, but it's actually really easy.